But operations were still very dangerous. They killed more people than they cured. That is until an English doctor working in Scotland discovered that the secret of safe operations was cleanliness. His name, Joseph Lister. Ah, Jenny, I hope the theatre is spotless. I insist on a spotless theatre. Strikes are all right, but I cannot tolerate spots. Now, where is the next patient? I'm here, doctor. Talking feet. My head's at this end, you lunatic. A patient with head and feet at the wrong ends? The most difficult operation I've ever performed. No, doctor, he wants you to remove this hideous thing. His head? No, it's under his arm. Oh, in that case, there's no cause for alarm. I'll just remove this uh, swelling. Oh. Yeah. Hold him down, oh. hold it, hold it. Oh. He's not going to like this. Oh. 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 There, that's his pulse. Uh, that'll pay for the operation. Right, now, anaesthetic. Certainly. Chloroform or ether? Oh, ether. Ether? Either. Neither. Neither. Oh, let's call the whole thing off. Oh. That one there. Certainly. How many drips? Oh, two drips uh -huh. and a drop. Uh -huh. Another drop. Mm -hmm. Another drip. Another drip. Oh, oh. What are you doing down there, Doctor? I'm getting up, lad. <laughs> Good stuff that, you know, not oh. to be sniffed at. Uh, right, oh, Jenny, tidy yourself up. I insist on tidiness and cleanliness. There is not a single flea in my theatre. No. They're all married with large families. Germs! They are my main concern. Germs that wriggle and squirm like worms. Since I came to terms with germs, the infirm in my infirmary have come to no harm. Why, even the air we breathe is cleansed with this device of my own devising. It is cranked by someone who is doing nothing uh, important at the time. You do, young lad. There we are. And the air is cleansed. Sterilization, that is the answer. What was the question? Doesn't matter. The answer is sterilization. All my instruments are sterilized according to Mr. Pasteur's instructions. Oh, look at that. What instrument is that, Doctor? Well, that's a foghorn, I think. All I know is every time I press it, I cure somebody. <laughs> we'll have that. And I think we're ready for the operation. We're ready. Let us spray. <laughs> Scalpel. Scalpel. Oh. Oh. Forceps. Forceps. Hmm? Oh! Hammer. Hammer. Oh. Not a pretty sight. A crowbar. Crowbar. Oh, oh, what are you doing, Doctor? I'm trying to get my bag open. Ah, oh. there we are. This is the stuff that ensures that many of my patients actually survive. Oh. Ah, it's going to form the cornerstone of modern surgical practice. It's symbolic. No, it's carbolic, but it's very good. It kills all known germs. Oh. Dead. That's wonderful, Doctor. Well, that's really, I don't know many germs, not to speak to. But it's very good. It brings things up as clean as a whistle. Oh, what was that? That was a clean whistle. Will you like that, man? Let's get on with the operation. Right, scalpel. Scalpel. No, no, no. Scissors. Scissors. No, 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 no. Saw. Saw. Oh. The patient's coming round. It's coming round. Circular saw. <laughs> No, wait! Eleven stone four. Not oh. wait, wait, man! I think I found oh. the trouble. Is he oh. a carrier of disease? Oh. No, he's a carrier of deeds! Oh. What organ are you removing, Doctor? Janet, you're Scott. You should know it's not an organ. It's his bagpipes. Oh. Will he survive, Doctor? Oh, he'll be all right. I don't think there's much I can do for these, though. <laughs> <laughs>